understanding the universe has taken a significant leap forward in the past few decades. On the one hand, scientists know quite a lot, but on the other, there remain several unfathomable mysteries that seem impossible to solve. One of the most captivating among them is the Great Attractor. This mysterious celestial phenomenon is a gravitational anomaly in the fabric of the universe, causing more than 100,000 galaxies, including our Milky Way, to move in one direction, as if something else in that place is pulling them. Hello, dear friends. In today's video, we would like to tell you about the Great Attractor and what it poses for humanity. But before we begin, we would like to ask you to subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to be the first to see our new intriguing videos about the mysteries of the universe. After the Big Bang, the universe began filling space in all directions, and to this day, this expansion is gaining speed. The space between different galaxies is increasing every day. Currently, galaxies are drifting apart, moving away from each other at a speed of 2.2 million kilometers per hour. It may seem logical to assume that the speed of galaxies on the left and right of us in the vacuum is the same, but that's not the case. There is something encountered in their path that slows down their speed, the gravitational influence. Gravity is a fundamental interaction between bodies with masses. The closer objects are and the greater their masses, the stronger the gravity. But in everyday life and even in physical calculations, this model is often simplified. For example, we say that the Earth attracts us, although our mass also affects the planet. The same thing happens in space. Matter attracts matter so we can see galaxies forming into clusters and superclusters. Somewhere far away in the most heavily veiled region of space lies a massive gravitational anomaly called the Great Attractor. For billions of years, it has been attracting us and all nearby galaxies toward it. It is believed that the Great Attractor is located at the gravitational center of the Lania Kia supercluster, in which the Milky Way is just one galaxy among hundreds of thousands of others. So, what is it? One hypothesis suggests that the Great Attractor consists of a vast concentration of dark matter, invisible but massive substance that makes up about 95% of the mass and energy of the universe. This dark matter does not emit light and does not interact with it, making it incredibly challenging to detect. The presence of the Great Attractor is determined by its gravitational impact on visible matter, such as stars and galaxies. Another theory is that the Great Attractor is a colossal supercluster of galaxies, much larger than any other known. This immense mass concentration has created a powerful gravitational force that can attract surrounding galaxies, including the Milky Way. Some researchers believe that the Great Attractor could be the result of a cosmic defect in the large-scale structure of the universe. This defect may be a remnant of its early development, manifesting as a region of space-time with an unusually high concentration of mass, exerting strong gravitational attraction on surrounding galaxies. The Great Attractor was discovered in the 1970s when astronomers first began creating a detailed map of the cosmic microwave background. It is the light left behind after the Big Bang. It uniformly populates every corner of the universe. Despite its astonishing homogeneity, there is a slight temperature variation. On one side of the Milky Way, it's a bit warmer than on the other, and initially scientists couldn't explain it. From the late 90s to the early 2000s, a team of scientists from Australia started using the Parker's multi-beam receiver installed on the telescope. Its unique sensitivity and field of view allowed for an unprecedentedly sensitive radio survey of the sky, giving astronomers a better understanding of the Milky Way's structure. Additionally, a dense region with a large number of galaxies was discovered. This is precisely where the Great Attractor is located. But one question remained, how large is it? Work at the Parkes Observatory brought new discoveries of entire galaxies, galaxy clusters, and even new cosmic filaments. However, instead of helping unravel more, observations of this specific anomaly only deepened the mystery surrounding it. The challenge lies in the fact that the excessive density is on the other side of the Milky Way's disk. Between it and us lies a massive cluster of stars, not to mention a mix of gases and cosmic dust. All of this obscures the light that usually comes from that direction, hindering observation and study. This area was named the Zone of Avoidance. It is believed that the Great Attractor is right at its center. 
The solution to the problem came through the study of clusters in the Zone of Avoidance, or CIZA, conducted by researchers at the Institute of Astronomy at the University of Hawaii. X-ray radiation, which easily penetrates gas and dust clouds, was used to explore inaccessible regions. Galaxy clusters are sources of X-ray radiation, facilitating observation. As a result of the study, fewer massive galactic clusters than expected were found in the presumed location of the Great Attractor. However, the gravitational anomaly near the center of the Great Attractor, the Abel 3627 cluster, proved to be powerful enough to tear apart the spiral galaxy ESO-137. Could a similar fate await us? No one can definitively answer this question. One thing is certain, all the galaxies known to us, even those we can reach with X-rays, are moving toward the Great Attractor. When will this become dangerous? No one knows, but it won't be anytime soon. The problem is that it's impossible to calculate the trajectories of attraction accurately. Perhaps our Milky Way will follow the maximum trajectory, and it will be sucked in by the attractor only in the very end. Or, along the way of attraction, it might collide with another galaxy, and the demise of our planet could occur much sooner. This entire scenario is part of the big crunch of matter, which inevitably follows the Big Bang. Some scientists believe that the Great Attractor is an area of excessive density containing a large amount of dark energy, and in a few trillion years, the entire universe will collapse and consume itself right there. After that, another Big Bang will occur from this concentration of energy and mass. In any case, the Great Attractor is one of the most intriguing mysteries of the universe. We may never know what it looks like, but the minds of scientists cannot resist attempting to at least try. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel to not miss new videos about the mysteries of space and the universe. Write in the comments what you would like to learn in the next video. Thanks and see you next time.